Brick Maniacs, it's time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Cody, are you ready to whip it, whip it good? I can't believe you made me say Gosh. that. <laughs> Worst episode. That that for sure was okay. Yeah. Cody, you have the uh, <laughs> what's the official designation of this tank? The Mark A Whip It. Mark A Whip It. Mark A Whip It. <laughs> okay. Mark A Whip It. Someone wrote a song about that. I don't think this comes with it. What is this thing? I wonder if anyone's written a song with the word Whip It in it. No. Why is this backwards? Oh yeah, the front. This is the front. <laughs> Mark A Whip It. Mark A Whip It. Uh, yeah. Medium. That's yeah. it. The medium. It's a medium it's tank. It's a medium tank. Okay. It's a World War I British medium tank. So this is the front, correct? No, no. incorrect. This is the front, this is the front. But how do you know? Uh, it's got guns all the way around. Why does it have guns all the way around, Cody? So it can shoot the most people. <laughs> theoretically, <laughs> theoretically. So no, how, is, there, there's a, a reason why it has all these guns. <laughs> yes. Tell us about maneuvers in battle. Okay, so this... This is the history section if you're keeping notes. Okay. That's what we're this talking about. History. History. This is the history right. section. We're starting with history. So, uh, this tank was developed by the same person who developed the Mark I tank. Nice. And it was designed to help support the heavy tanks like the Mark V. And so it would punch through the lines mm -hmm. if there's you know, if there's a hole in the line. And it would park on a trench. And the so guns, it's, the it's machine running up to the, the trench side. with yeah. this front gun blazing. Yep. And once it would arrive, so you know, the right, trench. if there's a trench, you know, theoretically nice. right there, it could shoot down the trenches. Uh, the guys would have to run and flee. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's why it's got guns on it. And then it yeah. keeps going and then it can shoot behind itself. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Yeah. So this so is the... There's, there's four Hotchkiss machine guns in there. Right. And that's its main armament. It's just the four machine guns. So it's, it's a very interesting design. It actually has two engines, one for each track. Yes. Essentially. So you need a very skilled driver to not stall the engines out. <laughs> Uh, wow. Just just turning it. Uh, they they liked it because then you only need one driver, yeah. whereas previously you'd need two people. Uh, one for each to side. drive the tank. I I guess. <laughs> so they were able to, to time together somehow. I don't want to get into explaining because sure. it's, it's really complicated. <laughs> um, yeah. Combat so effectiveness. Drive that. I'd say it's pretty effective. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It wasn't. They had a hard time steering it, so sometimes they would just break one side and then turn right. with the other track. And that's kind of how the World War II Shermans would, would turn. Yeah. So this, this you could drive it, you know, you could turn with the throttle a little bit. Yeah. You throttle one side more than the other, or a clutch, or a brake, and you could use them all to turn it cool. <laughs> differently. So I guess. It's really complicated, but... Uh, so if, so they, instead of doing that, they would just kind of break one side, stop one side, then turn with the other side, but they had problems with the tracks breaking and doing so. Wow. I guess if you're on, on tar or concrete or something like that, it would be prone to breaking the track. Cool. All right. Um, so there. What else? Yeah, so in the model, there's two engines in there. So now we're moving on so to the model. I guess. Moving on to the kit itself, Jeff. <laughs> moving on to the kit itself, Yeah. Cody. So there's a door, engine compartment door. Yes. Um, it kind of represented two engines in there. See that? That's real nice. A little bit to exhaust. I like the guns. With the, the revolver. The revolver <laughs> that simulates a nice exhaust port there. Yeah. Yeah. And then the door you could also prop open. Let's say if you're working on one side or on something. One side or the other. The guy's right there. Open like that. There. Yeah. That's real nice. Yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what else? This top part, you got an opening hatch. Can yep, you open opening the top? hatch for the commander. So it's a three-man crew. Yes. Uh, typically, sometimes they would throw in a fourth guy to man the rear machine gun. Not often. Sometimes they would even just remove one of the machine guns to give you more space inside because yeah. it's really cramped space. Four I mean, four, guns in there. four guys. Three guys. And three guys. Yeah, three guys. And if they did have a, include a fourth, it's super cramped in there. <laughs> that uh, looks super cramped. I mean. So yeah, it's a driver, a commander, and then a gunner, and they would kind of have to bounce around between all the machine guns if they wanted them all firing. Uh, so yeah, so there's a hatch on top, Yep. and I included space for a driver uh, if you remove his helmet. Oh, Because those Brody helmets are just Right, huge. That, 
And it's, I, don't I don't know if they'd be wearing a Brody helmet inside of the tank. Yeah, That's more for the guy peeking his head outside, maybe. Yeah. So as you can see, I've got four Hotchkiss machine guns in there, and this is the one without the buttstock. Um, and it helps yeah. <laughs> open up that space a little bit more. Oh, of course. So a space in there for a driver. And so the driver's right next to the machine gunners inside of there. Or yeah. see a bit lower down. Oops. Oh, you broke it. Cody. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> so Not there's also a door in the back where the machine gun's in there. And that was, that was really difficult to figure out <laughs> yeah. how to make that work. Ooh. So you can pop the roof back on. The easiest way to open the door is just to take this slope brick off the side. And it's got a sticker on there, so that works. <gasps> so it doesn't. You're a cheater. So you have a sticker, a custom sticker hinge? Yeah, a okay. sticker hinge. <laughs> I should do that more often, actually. Ooh. That works out pretty hey. slick. <laughs> so you can peel that off, and then the machine gun. There we go. So you have to pull that off just to get the door open because the machine gun butt sticks out right. so much. Yeah. Oops. Uh oh, uh oh. There. Technical difficulty. There we go. No oh, technical difficulties. Perfect. So, yeah, there's a lot of playability features in there. Uh, Kaiser Grinder. Kaiser Grinder, yeah, you came up with that name, right? Yeah, I came up with that name. I thought, was, I thought it was a fitting nickname. Fitting nickname. <laughs> um, there's so, also some stickers around the side. Yeah, so, uh, that's a printed grill, right. actually, uh, on the one by one, because everyone wants that piece. Yeah, we tried to match the two by two actual real textured grill. Yeah. yeah. Um, looks real good. <laughs> <laughs> looks real good, looks real good. So, one design feature that the Whippet had. Uh, is on, on the side here, there's slopes, which I actually built the slopes into it. So on the return rollers, the mud wouldn't collect there. It would uh, fall down and not fall on the uh, Bo bogies yep. or the road wheels underneath. So it would just slide off on the side of the tank. Back, cool. in, back, in the, back. back into the world. <laughs> I'm free. And it does rolls pretty smooth. Nice. Uh, yeah, and this color scheme is an early war color scheme, and I think they got rid of it probably pretty quickly because it's so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> With that paint on the top. So eventually they, typically they removed that paint scheme, just had it all one color, and they would keep the, the color scheme on the side and maybe on the front a little bit, maybe just one stripe on the top. Cool. But I, I like the look of the Yeah, thing. I mean, it's super eye-catching, right? Yeah. That's probably why they, why they did that, to instill yeah. fear in their enemies, right? Well, probably just so they don't get bombed. Or they don't get bombed, I guess. <laughs> they're on airplanes. Yeah. Did you talk about that figure? I didn't talk about that figure, okay. Cody, but I, think, I will talk about that figure. I think that's the best part of the kit. Oh, so. no, come on now. <laughs> all right, so I have an all new World War I, uh, pretty close to a British infantry, um, with the leg wraps and just that, that uh, World War I uniform. And then there is a splatter mask, is what they'd call that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's to, if it's to prevent your face from getting splattered or to prevent splatter from getting on your face. <laughs> One of those, I'm sure. <laughs> so it's to defend against um, spalding, right? Is that what you? Yeah. Dan, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Spalding. <laughs> spalding. <laughs> yes, yes. You don't yeah. want bullets to splash. Yeah. Your face. You do not want bullet bullets to splatter into your face. So mm -hmm. they have this. Bullet, bullet it's a chainmail mask. If you're inside of this tank, I'm sure it gets super hot in there. Yeah. So pit stain. The pit stain returns. Complete with smell, right? Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Was, wasn't that uniform tan before he got in the tank? <laughs> that uniform was, yeah, he that was, uniform was light tan before he got in the tank. Yeah. So, yeah, this guy's cool. Um, I, I think the, I love how the mask turned out. Super creepy. Yeah, super creepy. Very creepy. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, get yours while you can. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Cody? I think we're good. Cool. For more information, check out BrickMania.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching. What's our hashtag? Great, Great War Bricks. Bricks. Great War Bricks. I'm good at this. Great War comma Bricks. Not comment. There's no comment in there. <laughs> Great War Bricks. Can you put One word. Hashtag? It probably doesn't work. Great Try War it. Bricks. Try it. See if it works. Use it. Abuse it. That's it. Don't use it on YouTube. Don't use it on YouTube, or you will be disqualified for life. Right? And see.